Hello and welcome to the seventh video in the MB Sports Web video training series covering the Game Officials module. This video is going to show off the non-association games features that are available within the Game Officials module. Now this might not, might not be a feature that you need to look at. Basically if you're looking to assign officials to games which are not part of the association then you're going to want to look at this non-association games feature. So during the video we're going to show off what the non-association games are and how they show up, how to set up your non-association groups, set up the default settings for those groups, and then also how to manage the list of games that are in the site as non-association games, both by entering them as well as importing them. So once again, back into the MB Sports Web demo site within the game, Manage Game Officials module, we have this non-association games option available. Now one of the coolest features about the Game Officials module is the fact that the game schedules in general are already within the site because the scheduling module and the association scheduler have entered them. However, it might be necessary to assign officials who are in this site to games which are not already here and we call those non-association games. So the first thing that you'll need to do to make that happen is create a non-association group. These groups can be as vague or as specific as you'd like them to be. So to add a new group, we just click Add Group, and we can call this um, Sample Group. Give it a sort order in case we want to control what in what order they appear, other than alphabetical. And we can do Insert and Add Another, or Insert and Close. So the reason the groups are the first thing you need to go in is if you look at the Manage Schedule page and go to Add a New Game, it'll ask what group this game is being assigned to. So if you're doing this on an occasional basis, you may not be may not need to be real specific with the groups that you're looking after. Uh, you can just create a group and call this the, Samp, the the home team the Bantam Red, and they're playing against whoever. And assign schedule the game, and then once the game is scheduled, it would show up in the the games list that we had showed previously for assigning those officials. However, if you're doing this uh, more frequently, then what you might want to do is create very specific groups that are mimicking the teams that are available in this other association. If you do that, then we can go into our setup and settings area under default settings and the current season, and we have the non-association group showing on this page. So an earlier video discussed how to set up your default settings for the season. The non-association groups are just like any of these other teams that are within the association where we can apply a default setting at the group level so that any games that are, are scheduled as non-association games for that group would have these settings applied automatically when the officials are assigned to them. So back into the non-association games area, once we have our group set up, we can start looking at adding games to the schedule. So on the Manage Schedule page, there's an Add New Game button where, again, we could just type in the, uh, the date, time, the duration, game number, description, the venue, the group, the, whole, the home team, the visiting team. The only thing that's required are the names of the home team and the visiting team and the date and time and the group. So once we can add those games individually if you like, and you can do Insert, Add Another, and continue to add the set of them. The other thing that you can do, though, is import non-association games. So this will look at a file that is in an Excel 97-2003 format, which is a .xls extension. And that file in Excel will need to have the columns for game number, the group name, the date, time, duration, home team, away team, venue, and description. And the Excel file, as long as it has that in it, will do the import. And you can do the validation mode to test it to make sure that things are going to work before you do the import. The other thing you can do is check this update existing if game number and group match. So uh, these first two columns, if the information contained in those two columns is the same, it will then take the date, time, duration, home team, all the other, inf other information, it will update what's already in the site for any games that are in the future that match that. Now if you happen to be taking your game schedule from another MB Sports website, and we do have ways for you to do that fairly easily. The game number we recommend using then would be the ID of the game in the other site. 
and that way it makes it much easier to track to know if the other association has changed that game in any way it will match the game number that's in your site and you'll be able to make sure that the game is properly recorded in yours when you go to assign officials to it. And once the games are in the list whether they were imported or if they were looking at adding the games individually then you can take the manage games list and look at whatever date range you want to uh, to view and those games to edit them you can double click on them to make changes to them and also you can delete those games from the list now just like regular games if you delete a game who where there's officials assigned to it it will then automatically uh, delete those officials as well as as well as notify them that they've been removed from that game and because the game has been deleted from the site